Hi, welcome to this uh, fifth part of this video series, Build Your Home Theater. In uh, today's session, we are going to talk about the Home Theater System Block Diagram. Now, we have seen in the last few parts about different type of equipment that be becomes part of this Home Theater. So, this particular session is going to make it very simple. So you don't have to really worry, oh, so many components. So, and uh, if you see each of this component with so many connections behind the panels and the front of the panel, wow. So it is so uh, alarming. People are really scared of this connection. So I am going to try to make it uh, really simple for you to uh, understand and make these connections with the understandings of the basic. Okay. Now, to make it simple, okay, now what are the, there are different components, right? There are source component, there are audio video receiver, the output components. See, output components I would categorize like speakers, right? Home theater speaker, which is audio part of it. So we are talking only about the audio and the video part of it. So audio is coming out of all these speakers, right? Then the video is coming out through a projector or to this TV screen. Okay, let me draw this separately. One, the video part, okay, which will be a television, which will be a television and another is a projector, right? And in terms of audio, okay, we have front, cent, uh, okay, let me write, front left, front right, then you have center speaker, then you have uh, surround left, you have surround right, then you have a rear left, you have rear right, then you have subwoofer. Okay, now this is 7.1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, this is 7.1. Point 1. You have two subwoofer, then it is point 0.2. Okay, if it is a really big, you have a big home theater then I would suggest that you, you need to have two subwoofers, okay? Uh, because most of the AV receiver nowadays, it has uh, two output for subwoofer, okay? Now, as I mentioned, this uh, forms the component of audio output, okay? These are the audio output and this is a video output, correct? So now we have this uh, video outputs and the audio outputs. Now let us consider the input part of it. That is, what are the signal sources? Okay, one is the set of box, okay? From where you get the cable connections and all that. Then you have a Blu-ray displayer. Then let us have one DVD player. Then let us have some other uh, X source, okay? Now let us have one uh, laptop, okay? Then let me consider that uh, two HDMI inputs, the wall sockets, okay? Remember in the previous session, we spoke about additional uh, HDMI inputs, like one near my sofa, I just want to connect with a short cable on the wall socket, which is a HDMI input for me to directly see on the TV or for the projector, okay? Then I will have HDMI one, uh, wall socket and one more socket I prefer having it near this uh, uh, audio video rack one input okay now these becomes the input sources these are the input sources now if you see this inputs this is the AV input now earlier as far as video and audio connection are concerned, there were different formats and connections, different types of cable. We, there were composite cable, there were component cable with three cable for one single video and different. And now it has become much more simpler. Okay, we have this HDMI. Okay, HDMI, we just come to our rescue. What is HDMI cable? So this one has a video and audio together. Okay, if you connect a HDMI connector between two input, that means there is a transfer of audio and video signal from input to output. Okay, now this is a HDMI cable that we are going to use widely in this particular connections. 
Now we have input audio visual and we have output audio visual. Now how do we connect everything together? Okay, here where this component comes, which is the audio video receiver. Okay, AV receiver. Now AV receiver is a one which is going to integrate all the input sources to the output, which is video and audio, right? Now, let me do what the connections are about. The connections are very simple now. As I mentioned, it's just an HDMI cable. From set-top box, I just run only one cable. From Blu-ray disc, one cable. From DVD, one cable. From another component, one cable. From laptop, just one cable. Then from the external HDMI input one, HDMI input two, all this, okay? These are many inputs, okay? All these are HDMI cable inputs which is connected to audio video receiver now this av receiver will have uh, output for seven channel okay seven channel they are separate outputs okay which i will connect it like this one two up to seven i will go till here okay now these are oxygen free copper cable these are speaker cables okay these are speaker cable now speaker cable will look something like this Okay, uh, this is about 6 mm and 6 mm uh, dimension. They are, they are called as OFC cable, okay, oxygen free copper cable. See, this oxygen free copper cable is connected from the AV receiver output to each one of the speaker, okay, each of the seven speakers. Now, for subwoofer, there is a separate output called sub one, okay, and uh, most of the receiver nowadays also has two outputs sub one and sub two, okay which can be connected to the subwoofer but this one is a normal uh, cable with the rca connection rca on both sides okay so that is the subwoofer connection output for video you will have hdmi output some of the av receiver will have one hdmi output some will have two okay uh, whichever it is suppose if it has only one nothing to worry then you will have one distribution amplifier we you we will use a hdmi distribution amplifier and we will connect one output to TV and one output to the projector. So what it does is distribution amplifier, it just distributes the same signal output to one to the TV and one to the projector. So this is what is the a connection. So now we have taken care of all the input that goes into this, the audio outputs here and video outputs here. So I, I have hope uh, I try to make it as simple as possible for you to this uh, do this connection yourself. So nothing to really get alarmed seeing so many connectors behind each of these equipments. So only these connections are just more than sufficient. Okay. I hope you enjoyed watching this session. If you like this video, please uh, click thumbs up and uh, subscribe for the video so that you get a lot of updates of our new videos over the time. And do share with your friends so that they also uh, can build their home theaters. Thank you for watching this.